Hi guys, all right, so I already did my brows off camera. I'm gonna be starting off with the L'Oreal Pro Matte in 108, and I'm gonna mix it with the L'Oreal Total Cover in 309. I'm just applying this on my face first, and then I blended it in with this Japanese buffing brush. And I really wanted like more coverage than I normally go for. I don't know why, I just wanna, you know, full cover kind of mood. But if you don't like full coverage, you can just use a beauty blender and it will be a little bit more sheer. And then I'm gonna take the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer and apply this under my eyes and the usual places like my chin, down the bridge of my nose and my forehead just to highlight those areas. And then I'm gonna blend it out with this BH Cosmetics Concealer Brush. Um, this is like a light to medium coverage concealer and I really like it. I mean, I don't have dark circles so it works perfectly for me and it really brightens under my eyes, which I really love. Then I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm kind of going back and forth. Um, I, just, I don't know why I prime my eyes first because I'm gonna go back to my face. I'm gonna go, go in with my Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm gonna first apply the yellowish color under my eyes. I've been using this palette like non-stop. Um, I think I like it better, better than the Anastasia one. And then I'm gonna contour with the lightest color from the contour palette. Well, actually the middle color. And I'm using this Japanese brush. They sent this to me and it's really good. I mean, you, you can see it like it makes like a really nice sharp contour and it's very soft so it blends easily but it's you don't like really need this um the wet and wild contour brush works really well as well i had this so i used it and it works really nicely but it's not like a necessity and then i'm going to just blend out the edges a little bit with a powder brush that i used and then i'm going to go in with this color pop eyeshadow in the news it's like a really pretty pink color but it was a little too pink so i kind of muted it down with this brown shade from color pop i've really been loving their eyeshadows they're so affordable and they just blend so nicely I mean, they really feel like some of the higher end eyeshadows I have. They're really, really nice. So this color is Conundrum and I'm just blending that out. And then I use this really pretty pinky shimmer color in the shade Ego. I'm just applying this with my fingers. And then I'm gonna take Play by Play, which is like this really beautiful dual chrome kind of color and just pop this in my inner corner. And then I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner, <laughs> it turned out a little bit thicker than I had originally planned, but I, I made it work, I think. Um, sometimes it happens, you know? The eyeliner just kind of had does its own thing. But uh, yeah, this is a Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. I know you guys are probably like sick of this, but I honestly just can't stop using it. It's so good. I know that one eye is like a little bit uh, not so good, but I fixed it off camera. It's okay. Sometimes you mess up. It's cool. Just use a little Q-tip. Then I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk palette in Pretty Cheeky and apply the blush to the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm also going to highlight my face. I didn't use the bronzer this time, but the bronzer is also really nice. It's a really, really pretty palette and I really love the colors. For lips, I'm using Wet n Wild Coral Corruption. Now, I love their Katsu Matte Lipsticks, but as I mentioned before, this one in particular is a little bit streakier than the other ones, but you just have to be really careful when applying it. But it's still wearable, and I love this color, so I just have to use it. But yeah, that's the whole look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!